You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the, the, the way I live, the skin I live in every day. In what is now the second biggest firing in media today, Don Lemon has been fired by CNN, following, of course, Fox News firing Tucker Carlson. So uh, this one is a little, maybe even more interesting because of the last straw that may have led to his firing, according to reports. And uh, it's an act of journalism <laughs> that CNN apparently felt was a little, a little too on the nose, maybe. I don't know, but I'm going to show you what that is. But let's go through just how uh, wildly different these statements are from CNN compared to Don Lemon. So CNN announces CNN and Don have parted ways. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family, and we thank him for his contributions over the past 17 years. We wish him well and will be cheering him on in his future endeavors. Contrast this with Don Lemon saying, I was informed this morning by my agent, and by the way, he did the show this morning, <laughs> so he was fired after the show. I was informed by my uh, uh, my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business, and I wish them all the best. All right, so uh, what happened here? There has, of course, been a couple of, at least a couple of times that Don Lemon has made headlines on his new uh, morning show. One of them here, uh, uproar hits as CNN or uh, hits CNN as Don Lemon is rebuked for comments about women. So you may or may not remember this, but this was about uh, Nikki Haley and her run for uh, president as a Republican. And uh, here are the comments that he made about that. This whole talk about age makes me uncomfortable. I think that I think it's the wrong road to go down. She says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley is not in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What are you that's talking about? Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime for what? Uh, it depends. I mean, it's just like prime. If you look it up, it'll. If you look, if you Google when is a woman in her prime, it'll say twenties, thirties, and forties. I don't necessarily. Forties. Oh, I got another. I'm not decade. saying I agree with that. So I think she has to be careful about saying that. Well, you know, politicians aren't in their I think prime. You need to need qualify. To are you talking about prime for like child I mean, I mean, bearing, or are you don't talking don't shoot about the message prime I'm just for being president? What the facts are. Google it. Everybody at home. <laughs> when is a woman in her prime? It says 20s, 30s, and 40s. And I'm just saying Nikki Haley should be careful about saying that politicians are not in their prime and we, they need to be in their prime when they serve because she wouldn't be in her prime, according to Google you know, Google or whatever it is. All right. So regardless of your feelings about these comments here, there was disagreement on air at the time, which I think is there's nothing wrong with these sorts of discussions as long as there is, you know, pushback on air about it. And clearly there was. And then Don Lemon went on to apologize about it. And um, CNN's chairman, Chris Licht, opened his daily 9 a.m. editorial at the time uh, by saying the remarks by Lemon were widely viewed as sexist and insensitive and had left him disappointed. So they had crossed that bridge, you know, or they had they had dealt with the situation. Don Lemon apologized. They moved on. But I guess they weren't done. So in recent weeks, CNN bookers had discovered that some guests did not want to appear on air with Mr. Lemon. And research on the morning show reviewed by CNN. Executives found that his popularity with audiences had fallen, one of the people said. So this, I, I, I tend to think this is maybe the, if this is true, one of the biggest reasons why they would kick him off. They need guests. This is why media is often very kind to all of their guests, regardless of who they are. Very rarely is there some real pushback on guests because they want to be able to invite them back on. They want access. They care so much about access, so they're never going to be, you know, they're very rarely going to commit real acts of journalism with guests because they don't want to scare people away. But this is why I would think this is one of the larger reasons reasons why he'd be pushed out. But also tensions emerged between Lemon and one of his co-anchors, Miss Collins. In December, CNN this morning crew members were rattled after a backstage incident where Lemon accused Collins of interrupting him too often. So behind the scenes, there is some, I guess, fighting or a little bit dis of disagreement between um, how they conduct the show. 
But this one, I'm surprised. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but I'm kind of surprised that this made it. That this is maybe the 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 last straw. So last Wednesday, Lemon made headlines again after a highly contentious on-air exchange with Vivek Ramaswamy, a Republican presidential candidate. Let me show you this video. So yes, it is contentious, but Lemon is committing a rare act of journalism here, and apparently this is one of the reasons why they fired him. So, With due respect, I find, I find your explanation reductive and actually insulting, including to black Americans, to say that black people today, compared to 1964, 1865, haven't made progress in part because of the freedoms we secured. And the Second Amendment was black part people, of the Hang on, please. Freedom. I cannot keep a thought if you guys are talking to me in my ear. So uh, hang on one second. So to say that, that black people, say, say what you said again. Black people secured their freedoms after the Civil War. It is a historical fact, Don. Just study it. Only after their Second Black Amendment rights have, were secured. They That's were a fact. not secured their freedoms after the Civil War. That is not, you're, you are discounting uh, uh, Reconstruction. You're discounting a whole host of things that happened after the Civil War when it comes to African Americans, including the whole reason that the Civil Rights Movement happened is because black people did not secure their freedoms after the Civil War and, and that things turned around. People were, tried to change the freedoms that were supposed to And you know how they the got Civil it? War they got their Second Amendment rights and they actually got, the NRA played a big role in that. But today, Don, the, the final, NRA did the, not play a big role. They train black Americans how to use firearms. That's a lie. That's not. The NRA did not play a big role. This is just historical fact. But not historical fact. The part that I find because you say it's historical fact. The part that I find insulting is when you say today black Americans don't have those rights after we have gone through civil rights revolution in this country. You are sitting here telling an African American about the rights and what you find insulting about the 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 way I live, the skin I live in every day. Here's where you and I have the freedom that black and white that black people don't have in this country, and that black people do have. Well, here's where you and I have a different point of view. I think we should be able to express our views regardless of the color of our skin. We should have this debate I'm not saying you without me regarding views, you as a black man, but me regarding you as a fellow citizen. That you're That's sitting what I think here, whatever ethnicity you are, explaining to me whatever ethnicity about I'm, what it's like to be black Whatever America. ethnicity I'm, I'm I'll tell you what I am. I'm an Indian American. I'm proud of it. But I think we should have this debate. Black, white, doesn't matter. I think we should have this debate. On the content of the ideas. If you do it, you should do it in an honest way and in a I fair way. And what you're doing is not an honest and fair way. Okay? But we appreciate you coming on. With due respect, Don, I look forward to continuing that conversation. We'll Thank you. The conversation. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, Pop. We'll talk about China. Yes, let's talk about China. Time you come back. Oh, thank you. Much to we'll say back. on declaring independence from China. Okay. Something can you can move on, on now, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, I thought it was important to show the whole clip, including the end here. I have to imagine the producers were yelling in his ear, which is why at the beginning of this conversation, he was talking about how he, you know, he can't hear the conversation in front of him because of what's happening in his ear. Um, and then the look here, like this is, they were not happy. But I find this so bizarre because this was great television. And Don Lemon is pushing back in an honest way. They're having real debate. The only, the most charitable take here about why pr producers would have an issue with this is that this is maybe too heated for morning television. And that's another point that's made in the New York Times piece, is that Don Lemon sort of brought the same style he brought to primetime, I guess these somewhat c contentious interviews occasionally. He brought that to the morning show, and I guess it was not a good fit when people are making breakfast, drinking their morning coffee. I, I think it's fine if you turn on a new show. What what do you expect? Like, <laughs> if you want if you want sunshine and rainbows, then I don't know. Watch Teletubbies. So, but this is I guess one of the issues they had is that occasionally he showed acts of a uh, rare acts of journalism. It's too much for CNN and their new direction of trying to appeal to the right, which I think ultimately is maybe the biggest issue here for CNN is that this may offend some people on the right wing. And you can't do that. <laughs> you couldn't do that before in mainstream press. They're always so concerned about how the right may feel. Not necessarily, you know, the MAGA base, uh, but still more conservative viewers. And with CNN's new direction, they're trying to appeal to those viewers even more. And so far, as from what I've read and heard, it has not been working out. I don't know. I don't think Don Lemon... Don Lemon is... with whatever issues he may have in terms of things that's been said on air before, I don't think he's the problem with CNN. But uh, I guess we're going to see who they replace him with and if it improves the show, improves ratings, and where Don Lemon's going to go.